Namaskara. A very good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Hello and welcome to India Force 2.0. We are glad to have you all here in Bengaluru. We have gathered here with the goal to learn from and inspire each other. But most importantly, we are here united by force. We hope you have a weekend full of inspiration, thoughts, insights, networking, and a whole lot of fun. Hi, I'm Kritika Takanavar, and she's Vrinda Menon, and we're the hosts of this conference. Before we begin, here are a few quick announcements. Over to you, Vrinda. Thank you, Kritika. Uh, I would like to take you all through the uh, code of conducts now. Our conference is dedicated to providing a harassment-free conference experience for everybody, regardless of gender, gender identity, and expression, age, sexual orientation, disability, physical appearance, body size, race, ethnicity, religion, or technology choices. We do not tolerate harassment of conference participants in any form. Sexual language is not appropriate for any conference venue, including talks, workshops, parties, Twitters, and other online media. Conference participants violating these rules may be sanctioned or expelled from the conference without a refund at the discretion of conference organizers. Be kind, sensitive, understanding, and respectful to other attendees. Listen with empathy when someone has a dis different perspective. Talk to the volunteers if you notice that something could have been better. All communication should be appropriate for professional audience, including people from different backgrounds. Violations can be reported online by sending us an email or to India Force volunteers at the venue itself. We request you to obey the COVID protocols as well. Thank you, Vrinda. And that, after that quick note, I think we're ready to kickstart India Force 2.0. I, I now call upon Rishabh Mehta, Director of Force United, to give the opening note. Yeah, thanks, thanks, Kutika and Rita. Um, really excited to be here. Um, and on behalf of Force United, I want to welcome every one of you to this uh, second edition of India Force. Um, I'm going to make this talk, so I uh, just uh, want to share a couple of stories and take you through what we have been doing so far and what is Force United and you know how we got started and just some uh, basic things. So uh, why why Force United? So I uh, I I'm also founder of uh, Cyber Technology Group, you don't know me, we also founded this project called DRT Next. And we started in 2000 I started building the project in 2005 and for, for, for a long time, I hadn't met any other force developer. And it, 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 uh, I always felt that you know, am I the only person here? Uh, I did apply to a few, uh, I did apply for a few times uh, to speak at PyCon, but I got rejected. Uh, and I went to a few startup events, but they were not my type, right? They were mostly hustler events. So I didn't really identify myself there. So I said, maybe there are other crazy people, right? And if you realize people who do FOSS are not, you know, some people think of them as crazy, right? My mom just day before told me that, you know, why are you giving away your software for free, right? It, it feels that you, know, you are crazy, right? And I wanted to find out if there is anybody like that. Um, fast forward a few years, ago, uh, few years and, you know, we start, so ERP Next started organically growing as a FOSS product and we came across other people who used FOSS. And that was really interesting to see people use it, but uh, that, that connection was still not found. And, you know, once uh, we were at Zero, the office, Zero, the uses ERP next, and uh, I was having a chat with Vinay over lunch that, you know, maybe we should just do a FOSS event, right? And I've been pitching this FOSS event to a lot of people. Uh, everybody said, no, this can't happen. Uh, so I said, maybe, you know, Zero, the guys uh, might be the guys, right? So, and immediately Vinay said, you know, let's go and talk to Kailash, right? And uh, at that point, I didn't know Kailash really well, so we just had a chat, and Kailash immediately said, yes, you know, we should do this, right? And that's when I realized that, you know, I'm not the only crazy guy, uh, and over the next uh, few, uh, next couple of years, and then we did India for India OS, 
just before COVID, right? And I don't know where is Kailash is still. <laughs> okay, he's not there. <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, you know, we uh, got to know Kailash over the last two years. Uh, you know, really kindred soul uh, spirit, right? I mean, you you can uh, somebody you can connect with, and that was really exciting. We got something started. We decided we should register a nonprofit. We already started something called uh, ERP Next Open Source Foundation, but that wasn't really going anywhere. So we thought, let's just uh, build a broader FOSS community in India, right? Because like nobody was doing it, and then we uh, and that's how uh, you know FOSS United happened. So over the few years, I mean, you know, uh, with Force United, you know, we said, what are our goals? So we said, broadly, we'll focus on three things, like promote the spirit of hacking and tinkering, uh, build Force for public good and evangelize Force in society. Uh, and once we got started, uh, we we met Anand Chittipotu. I don't know if Anand is here. Yeah, Anand, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, you know, Anand was at the first India OS, and, you know, I mean, he's, he's the real community guy. Uh, you know, I think he's connected to most Force communities in India. And you know it was great to have Anand on board. We started off with some projects, I'll, and, and you will hear about them uh, during the next two days. Uh, we got Vishal on board. Vishal is uh, Vishal is there. He's everybody should know Vishal because he's a conference manager, and you know Vishal has been helping us out with you know building the community. Uh, uh, and then we we've we've also got few other people. Venki, I don't think is here, but you know we've hi hi Venki. Uh, you know Venki is helping us with uh, the third part, which is you know evangelizing FOSS. Uh, and so yeah, that's that's our small team. So we are really tiny startup uh, with mostly volunteers and like a few people who are dedicating a lot of time to this. Just want to quickly go through like what have we done. So we did two hackathons during the uh, COVID season. Uh, very very interesting, but yeah, it's remote, right? I mean, you, it's not like if it's remote, like you might as well read Hacker News, right? I mean, it's not that. It's still great, but you know you you, you really miss meeting people uh, in in public. Then I think post COVID we started having monthly meetups here in Bangalore, which is really the hub of the tech community in India. And uh, uh, and and then we did a few online things like uh, first commit uh, by Devdat. I don't know if Devdat is here. Uh, and uh, yeah, so that's that's you know our uh, and and then then we we also thought that. Like community must have assets, right? I mean, we can't just be evangelizing. I mean, it's, you should. And one of my learnings from building the ERP Next community is that people come when there is something they get get in return, right? I mean, and we thought we should build some stuff. So, Mon School is something we started as a project, and Janath is going to talk more about it. Uh, Anand uh, really. So one, once he had Anand, you know, Anand is a passionate teacher of code, right? So he, uh, you know, Mon School just made sense that. We thought this is how we could reach out to a large number of colleges and also build like a broader community. And uh, and then we've supported a few projects. Uh, Adonis is a JavaScript web framework. Uh, Sky, Sky Table is, I don't know if Sayan is here, but I don't think he is, but uh, you know, it's a uh, key value store. Uh, and uh, Fika is a language, it was one of the hackathon uh, entries. Uh, uh, first winner of the first hackathon, and and we thought maybe we should give them an extended grant to build build like this project. Other than that, you know, Zerodha has been an awesome supporter of free software, as all of you would already be knowing, and they have co-sponsored a bunch of grants to Swatantra Mal Malayalam Computing, uh, Paper Inc, Clific, Tinker Hub, and, I'm, and you're going to hear from most of them uh, over the next couple of days. Uh, the third piece is uh, that you know not only we we should help like create force but also evangelize use of force in social sector governments and other other places so we worked with uh, vishal has mostly been driving this with a lot of volunteers we we worked with 16 ngos in the last couple of years you know this has been like an amazing thing i don't know how we successful will we been with each one of them and i hope vishal is going to talk about it uh, and uh, it's it's been a great learning experience uh, and uh, you know he can do a flash talk, and then we also work with uh, Internet Freedom Foundation. Apar is here; he's going to talk about it more. And you know, uh, amazing work uh, done by IFF to ensure our digital rights. And we have this open, uh, uh, you know, the legal framework allows us to do the things we want to do. Right? It's really important that you know things are not curtailed suddenly uh, just because the laws change. 
and we are also working to fight software patterns. So Venki here had, you know, he's, he's a veteran uh, FOSS uh, FOS activist, and you know, they fought a lot, I think, in the 90s and the 2000s to fight against uh, patents. And India has one of the most liberal uh, patent regime in India, and but that is being changed, uh, slowly being changed because you know there isn't. Uh, that that spirit of community is completely lacking, and you know other interests are slowly taking over. So, so as Foss United, we also want to renew this fight against patents, and we're also working with Takshashila. Uh, they are a Bangalore-based think tank to bring out a policy paper for government to enable use of more Foss. Right. So that's it. Uh, you know, this is what we have done. Like I said, here we're a tiny startup. Um, uh, Two years have gone by, we have started something. And um, just a couple of minutes to talk about, you know, this whole idea of community, right? Uh, and so uh, just day before I was looking at the newspaper and, you know, there was this front page was this ad of this SUV, right? And it's saying goosebumps, right? I mean, that's, it's supposed to be like something very desirable, right? But, but, but what capitalism does to us, right? I mean, Obviously, it does a lot of good things. I'm not going to go into it, but it it make it 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 completely covers up the costs of our decisions, right? We it 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 somehow you know we, when we become consumers, you know we are not morally responsible for our choices anymore because we just want the goosebumps, uh, and, you know we just want cool stuff, but we don't know what goes behind it, right? I mean the gas guzzlers that we all use. I mean there is a huge environmental cost behind it. You know, dictatorial regimes are supported by, you know, oil money, right? So, I mean, there is a huge cost in getting those goosebumps that capitalism completely hides for us. And uh, and this is what I feel that as a society and and while Force United was started for me, right, for me to find other crazy people, I I mean, the more I went into this journey, I realized that the real responsibility for us is to like spread the craziness, right? I mean, we need spaces where, uh, you know, this, uh, we are not consumers, right? Uh, and and today in a time when, you know, FOSS is also being uh, co-opted by capitalism in a way, right? So much, uh, uh, you know, investors have bet on FOSS projects and, and there is a whole pressure to monetize these projects and, you know, create billion dollar companies out of these FOSS projects. And this is, this, uh, e while it is great, right, we want the money, right? I mean, everybody needs but But that's not the heart of it, right? We need to remember that end of the day, FOSS is about, you know, creating a new a new culture uh, that, that promotes openness, that doesn't hide the real costs of our decisions, you know, that makes us more responsible. And, uh, and we've had this debate in the Telegram chat of, you know, what is greater, code or community, right? And I realize it's neither, right? It's culture. Like, ultimately, it is culture, right? Today, we are a small set of people who believe in this philosophy, right? All of us go out and talk in the world about, you know, uh, not being consumers and, you know, being completely, uh, you know, believing in the philosophy of sharing. Right. Then that's the real uh, impact. So that's my, that's what keeps me motivated these days. Uh, now that I found a lot of uh, like-minded people, and I hope we can make a small dent. Uh, thanks, everybody. Just <laughs>